Hello everyone, welcome to ET Studios, and today we're going to be testing whether the GTX 970 is still at the task at beating or matching the GTX 1060. 970 is not the most powerful card in the world, but definitely holds its own in 1080p and 1440p tests, so today we're going to be testing whether that's still true. Both of these are the Asus Strix models of the card, the 970 being the Asus Strix GTX 970 4GB, although Nvidia had a few issues on launch and it's technically only 3.5. The 1060, on the other hand, this 3 fan card, is the uh, Republic of Gamers Strix Edition, which has 6GB of VRAM, so definitely has the edge in high resolution games. So let's get on with the tests. Today we have four tests uh, Yunjin Heaven, Yunjin Valley, Just Cause 3, and Hitman Absolution has been built in benchmark. The only test for that one is Just Cause 3, which I just ran around the same area to make it the most fair test as possible. First up we have Unigen Valley, and the two cards fared fairly well over here, but this was definitely one of the tests that showed the difference between the two. There was uh, just over 10 FPS difference between the two, the 1060 having 64.8 FPS, and the 970 having 53.4 FPS. Next up we have Just Cause 3 at 1080p, all high settings, and both graphics cards fared fairly well in this test as well. Like I said, I just drove around the same course two times to make it the most fair as possible and we got another 11 fps gap between the two. Both of them were well beyond uh, 60 fps and they fared fairly well in this test as well. Next up we have Hitman Absolution at the ultra settings at 1080p and this is one of the tests that showed the biggest uh, gap which was a whole 15 fps. So I don't exactly know why the 970 didn't do too well in this test, but it's just one of the outliers, uh, with the 1060 also being below 60 FPS, it's definitely one of the ones that which showed the difference between the two. Unigen Valley seemed to be the one where the cards are closest together, I have no idea why, but the 1060 scored uh, 105 and the 970 got 102, both of these were on the ultra quality preset, at 1080p. So in conclusion what do I think? Well the 1060 is definitely the more powerful card and I've seen multiple reviews saying the 970 is almost exactly in between the 1063GB and the 1066GB. So I might as well keep the 970 and sell off the 1060 just because of how much more the 1060 is worth at the moment and the 970 had almost every single test above 60 fps with no issues whatsoever. I'm always going to be running at 1080p, I had no idea when I'd bother to upgrade to 1440, so 3.5 or kind of 4 gigabytes of VRAM will do me just fine for the next few years until I decide to upgrade. The 1060 won't last that much longer than a 970, so I might as well wait until the 11 series to upgrade. So, what do I think if you have a 970 and you want to upgrade? Well, if you have the extra money, a 1070 would definitely give you a lot of performance. On the other hand, a 980 Ti, if you overclocked it a little bit, would be just about the same. Although, if you're into overclocking, if you overclock the 970 a little bit, they're very good overclockers, you could definitely take over, uh, overtake the uh, 1060. So. If you feel like overclocking that would be a good option, otherwise get a 1070 or a 980 Ti and you should be fairly happy. Obviously the more money you have the better graphics card you can get, but for most people the 970 should definitely still be a perfect card for 1080p and I don't see why you'd need anything else unless you were going to 144Hz monitors. So I hope you enjoyed the video, if you want more comparisons like this in the future let me know in the comments below and I will be doing some more tests with the 970 just running through Jim Valley and a few others uh, in separate videos. So thank you everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed, if you did like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.